This in-service video will provide you with basic instructions on using the VersaPort Plus V2 Trocar from AutoSuture. Please refer to the instructions for use packaged with the product for more information. The VersaPort Plus V2 Trocars are shipped sterile. The VersaPort Plus V2 Trocar consists of a bladed obturator and a housing and cannula assembly. Steps to use. Create a skin incision adequate for the diameter of the cannula to be inserted. Establish adequate pneumoperitoneum using the surgery needle or standard insufflation needle. To insert the trocar, place the instrument in the palm of your hand and squeeze the housing and cannula assembly together with the obturator. It is critical that you maintain the squeeze action and use a constant downward force during trocar insertion. To minimize defect size and reduce insertion force, do not rotate the obturator during insertion. During insertion, you will hear two distinct clicks. The first click tells you the shield has retracted. Upon entering the free space in the abdominal cavity, the shield covers the linear blade and locks into place reducing the potential for injury to internal structures. The red flag in the shield indicator appears in the on position and is confirmed by the second audible click during insertion. If your trocar is extraperitoneal, simply reinsert the obturator and squeeze the obturator and housing assemblies together to enable the shield to retract. Upon peritoneal entry, the shield will again advance forward covering the blade and protecting your patient's internal organs. Remove the obturator. The VersaPort Plus V2 Trocar comes in a wide range of cannula sizes and cannula lengths in both disposable and reposable configurations. For more information about the AutoSuture VersaPort Plus V2 Trocar, please refer to the instructions for use or refer to the AutoSuture product catalog at www.autosuture.com.